for cheap gold, items and other boosts for Diablo 4, visit AOEAH.com. Check out the link in the description, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Hello and welcome everybody. Here is my first update on the spirit barn. Because what I have put together last night turned out to be absolutely insane. Don't be surprised if I sound a bit tired, I am about to get some sleep. But I had to share this quick update before I do. A full guide is coming soon, but I wanted to show you a few key points that you can already apply to your spirit barn build to try out if you like. Let's dive in. I have now found a better rod of Kepeleke so I was in mood to build something great with it. Here is one of the rune words I am using. I am playing Sol Luck, which results in casting a challenging shot every 3 seconds, making the build extremely tanky. Alternatively, you could also use Xol Om or Xol Vex to push damage instead. Now we want to make the best out of the staff's unique effect while minimizing its downsides. Hits that trigger at full resource are incredibly strong stronger than in my previous build. All the hits that recharge your Vigor however are quite weak. They get no damage bonus, but instead suffer a 30% reduction. To reduce the number of weak hits, we are using the Ring of the Midnight Sun again. This gives us back up to 50% of the spent resources, effectively cutting the journey to full resources in half. The skill measured Ravager with its 30% resource generation helps as well, along with the optional life regeneration per second on gear. Since we spent all our Vigor at once, I got the idea to test out the banished Lord's Talisman, and the combo hits like a truck. In my opinion, it's almost a must have amulet if you are using the rod. It overpowers so many hits, try out yourself and try to get your maximum vigor to at least 143. Another stroke of genius is the unique spirit barn pants. These make you unstoppable while standing still and also add a nice amount of damage reduction. Being unstoppable boosts your damage as well and as long as you don't move, you stay unstoppable. And with the spirit barn, we don't even need to move in order to change position in fight the jumps from the Jaguar ulti don't count as a movement, same applies when charging towards enemies with Quill Volley. To stay unstoppable all the time and to benefit from both increased damage and damage reduction, just hold down the shift key in combat while attacking, or whichever key you've bound to stop movement. Here's another twist, since Quill Volley now is a basic attack, we can use the hectic aspect to quickly reset our cooldowns. Thanks to the attack speed boost from the Moonrise aspect and other affixes on the gear, this happens very fast. Since we no longer need Thrash at all, I've moved a few points in the skill tree to spec into Vortex. I now have it on my right mouse button. This allows me not only to charge at monsters, but also to pull them right to me. Once you have the necessary pieces, you should definitely give this build a try. 
It is perfect for the infernal hordes and pit runs and it is easy paving the way to Torment 4 and beyond. I wish you a lot of fun, take care and may the loot be with you. Follow me. Thanks. I'll be seeing you.